Okay, I'm here with uh, Obik Seagulls, Gino Gordon. Fujitsu Frontiers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with uh, Fujitsu Frontiers running back, Gino Gordon. Gino, how was the game today? Uh, I thought today was a good show, an opportunity for the young guys to play. Um, as you can see, a lot of the older guys sat out. Um, we just wanted to, since it's spring, we want our main focus was to get the young guys and the backups um, some experience. And stuff. So you were in the game, that means you're not one of the older guys? Exactly. I'm keeping it that way. Um, yeah, I'm not one of the, I, I was there to, we were, there's a couple injuries in, uh, on the offensive uh, running back position, so I was there to spell some of the guys. So You got uh, 10 snaps, you said, today, but you didn't carry the ball, so your role this year is primarily as a blocker, is it? <laughs> exactly, actually, how did you know? They're actually just trying to phase me out eventually, you know? Moving from halfback to fullback. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> actually, my main goal is probably tight end. We'll see what happens. Tight end, back, <laughs> <hedge> back. <laughs> so, I mean, you haven't played football for a while, you know. I mean, you, you were out there, but you weren't carrying the ball. But did it feel good to be back in pads? Oh, it's always nice being back in pads. It's, it's nice just being able to um, hit somebody that's on the opposite team. Well, we've been practicing for about a little over a month now with our with our new players and older players. And for the most part, we've been pretty, we've done good well. We've done well with practice. Now it's just nice to hit somebody else and see what it's like to get that full pad feeling, you know. So it's nice. How have those new players been? Have they uh, climatized quickly or have you got a lot of new guys in this year? Uh, as, you, as you saw, there was around 10 or so. Uh, on the offensive side, there's quite a few uh, linemen. The defensive side, we have a, a decent amount of linemen and linebackers um, just to fill in the spots for our retirees. Um, and they, I think they've done a very, very good job of climatizing and learning the playbook and it's nice for us because uh, we're all in the same company, so we have the ability to, to kind of like meet uh, in separate time or in the same time, and we all know that Saturday they will be there and that kind of stuff. So that's nice. So you kept obviously the nucleus of the team together, and you're defending champions. Uh, does that take away a little bit of the motivation? Actually, haven't reached the summit, or are you as equally are you equally as hungry this year as you were last off season? So the funny part is, we actually won my second year, and then we lost the year afterwards. So, in the end of the day, we know what the trappings of winning, and we want to make sure that we stay focused. And a big aspect of that is we have to make sure that our young players are able to play, and when people are getting hurt, um, you know, these past two years, we, we I wouldn't say devastated, but we got injured. We had a lot of injured players, and last year was it, we were fortunate enough to have young guys step up, and I think that's the goal that we need to have in mind to you know having the young guys be able to play at a high level when we get to the, the fall. How seriously do uh, Fujitsu take the Pearl Bowl? For you guys is it mostly, a pre I mean you obviously you're a national champion so your aim is you know the X Bowl and then the Rice Bowl so is the Pearl Bowl something you would like to win or is it doesn't really matter it's more important to get a run out for the new guys get them automatized and you know into the playbook or yeah, what's the balance for Fujitsu? I think the biggest thing is that no matter who we put on the field, we expect to win. And we expect that as long as as long as we have our players on the field, there's going to be a good chance of us pulling out a victory. So, if for some reason you know one of our players are not playing, there's still an expectation to go to the Pro Bowl. So I think that's kind of the the mindset that we have. It's a one out, one in kind of deal. So, yeah. What are your own personal goals for the year? Uh, my personal goal always is to win the, the national championship. I mean, that's a team goal, man. Do you have like do you have targets like carries, or do you have targets for touchdowns or anything like that? Do you think about that? You know, for the most part, um, I have. Well, even though it is a team goal, I think it's it's been my personal responsibility. Like I need to do whatever it takes to get to the championship, to win the championship. So in turn, it becomes a personal goal. If we don't win it, I think I take it on personally. Um, but and I just want to be able to. I think as a as a position group, we always do it. We always try to have uh, big plays and more importantly no fumbles those are really really big aspects and make sure we're good on protection um, a lot of times running backs get you know the short stick or they get they kind of mess with about not being able to protect but we're trying to it's a main point for us and coach Pierre does a good job of helping us out well, if you don't carry the ball you can't fumble it you know <laughs> <laughs> no fumbles there you go <laughs> see you on the 21st right, thank you. thanks for being GM thank you, all right thank you. bye <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs>